If you have been following the lessons on agricultural extension methods, then you know about Mukhtar and his passion for local farmers. Mukhtar changed the lives of many people in his community by showing them how they could use better farming practices to increase their produce and earn more income. You see, Mukhtar is a really bright young man. One day, he decided that he didn't want to stop at helping only his community. He wanted to do more. There were many more communities, not just in northern Nigeria, but outside as well, who need to adopt better agricultural techniques. He began to devise a means to achieve his goal. Mukhtar decided that he wanted to reach a large number of people at the same time, so he began to print publications, leaflets, posters, bulletins, pamphlets, and circulars. He didn't stop there. He partnered with interested organizations to create agricultural shows that could be shown on television and aired on radio. He also began to run agricultural exhibitions that could be attended by a large number of people. Agricultural extension involves the dissemination of information from agricultural researchers to the local farmers. Because of this, it is essential that we devise means by which this information can be effectively passed across to the farmers, either in a large group or individually. So what methods of agricultural extension do we have? We have the mass media method, the individual method, and the group method. The mass media method is used to create awareness and interest in new ideas and techniques among the majority of people. Mukhtar fully employed this method when he decided that he wanted to help more communities at the same time. The advantage of this method, of course, is that it reaches a wide number of people. It may not require the physical presence of the extension agent. It also saves time, and when using print media, it can serve as a point of reference, meaning that people can always pick up the publication and read for as long as the information is not outdated. The disadvantage of this method is that it is expensive. I mentioned earlier how Mukhtar had to partner with interested organizations that could fund the project. This funding may not always be available. A language barrier might also hinder effective communication. When using mass media, there are no feedbacks. L illiteracy may pose a problem as well. It is also possible that the local farmers who need information have no access to electricity, radios, or television. So in our next lesson, we'll be discussing the other agricultural extension methods and promises to be a fun class.